Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 26 of 100 days 100 concepts and today in this video we will discuss about metal recoveries in non-ferrous processes ok so usually this metal recovery numericals are kind of uh, there in previous years ok and one of uh, you guys have commented to discuss this video this uh, this topic so that's why we are doing it today right so usually in non-ferrous one of the most important method is froth flotation ok so today we'll talk about metal recovery in froth flotation so basically what is froth flotation froth flotation is a technique in which you use for concentration correct what is concentration concentration is nothing but removing the impurities and enriching your metal content right so basically you have uh, a flotation plant okay so i'm not discussing about the principle and how flotation works okay we'll keep it for some other video right so this is a flotation plant so usually what you have basically this metal recovery can easily be done with the concepts of mass balance right so we already know how we do mass balance so we usually say inputs will be equal to what my output correct all my outputs so this is one basic step one basic need that you must know in order to do any kind of mass balance so here in flotations plants we usually have an input which is called as feed okay of course the final output is concentrate right similarly we have you know uh, any process is not 100% efficient so we definitely have some waste materials that is going out which is called as my tailings right these are the three terminologies that you must know in order to find this particular thing right so feed is our input concentrate and tailings are my outputs right so as you can see the arrows so feed is my input concentrate as well as tailing are my outputs so basically we know what we what to do so let's say we are doing a uh, froth rotation for uh, uh, let's say copper okay so let's say you are concentrating copper ore okay so let's say i am using 100 ton of feed which has only two percentage copper okay and i get 25 ton with 65 percentage copper okay let's assume okay this is some random number that's it okay yeah so uh, actually <laughs> it will not happen because let's take this to be some thousand ton okay which has two percentage of copper right because uh, the balance should be there output won't be greater than input right so input has thousand ton and we, uh, thousand ton ore or feed material which has two percent copper which we are trying to concentrate into 25 ton material concentrate which contain 65 percentage of copper now we know what we know we know that my inputs must be equal to my outputs okay so first of all you can do this in two different sense. Number one, the overall weights, right? And number two, some particular constituent that you are interested in. Okay, so here in our case, it is copper. So overall weight, how can you do it? So let's say uh, I have input as 1000 ton, okay, which is here equal to tailings. I don't know, I'm assuming to be some x, x plus. What is the concentrate 25 so my thousand ton of my feed material is converting into some x tons of tailing and 25 tons of concentrate and again this is not any you know uh, pure numbers i just randomly took these numbers right so x will be how much x will be 975 tons so this is the overall weight balance okay we took the overall weight similarly what you can do you can also do constituent base right so overall mass will be conserved and the percentage of copper that is present or the weight of copper is also conserved that means the input copper must be equal to the output copper so let's say i have y percentage copper in tailings so what can i write again easily write 1000 into 2 percentage that is 2 by 100 will be equal to 
uh, I have 25 ton into 65 percentage plus what is the other thing that I have x tons that is 975 into some y percentage. So, from here you can easily calculate this y right by taking that particular constituent and balancing the input and output. So, this is what you basically do okay this is the easiest numerical and you can easily score two marks out of this right now what is this recovery so how you define recovery so metal recovery is how much amount of you know um, how much amount of your concentrate is forming that means how much amount of your constituent is getting recovered from my feed material so this will be nothing but the concentrate weight divided by the feed weight of course if you are doing in percentage just multiply by 100 so what are these weights are these overall weights are the constituent weights so here we are only talking about some particular metal recovery so all these weights you are taking for only copper okay not the overall weights so in our case how much uh, is the percentage that we have we have 25 tons into 65 percentage divided by feed is 1000 into 2 percentage okay into 100 so by solving this you get some percentage so you can say that okay this much amount of my copper is recovered from my feed and i am forming my concentrate with that okay so in other words you can say the ratio of the amount of copper that is present in the concentrate to the amount of copper that is present in the field okay so in either ways it's the same so this is called as metal recovery so i hope whoever asked this thanks for this this is uh, in our list definitely but uh, we made it today itself because you know we got a comment yesterday uh, i guess uh, early tomorrow early today right so whatever it is uh, thanks for supporting guys uh, we have completed 26 videos out of 100 okay and some people are asking to make videos about you know parallel revisions note making etc definitely we'll do it okay uh, it takes some time maybe but yeah uh, in october we are coming with new videos definitely right so i think you like this video and one more thing i want to tell you that the early bed discounts are ending soon 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 so please go and grab the most affordable video course okay so you are just losing 2000 rupees if you are not grabbing you are just thinking that you will be taking next month or whenever okay so yeah take action start taking actions and you know aim for it definitely you have five more months okay if i'm not wrong you have only four months sorry october december october november december and january right so you can easily work hard and i know that even third years it is a golden opportunity for them so please go and grab at everythingmetallurgy.com you have one of the finest lectures available for metallurgy on the internet right so you can easily study wherever you are from your home itself also we have one of the important aspect which is required for our main exam which is test series so definitely we made test series such that it creates the mock atmosphere it creates the same exam atmosphere in your home itself right so please go and also check the test series that is available on our website thank you guys thanks for watching we'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you